See if you can sing this one.
That was magical. I'm Brian York, and I'm a realtor in Des Moines, Iowa. But I'm not your average realtor. I'm not much of a golfer. And that is why the chicken did not cross the road. And I'm not very funny. And I'm not very peppy. <laughs> but if you want a realtor that knows the market, knows how to market, and is an expert negotiator, give me a call today. I'd love to work with you. I'm Brian York, and I'm a realtor in the Des Moines Metro.
Hey, do you fellas know Cedar Ridge Distillery is the oldest distillery in the entire world? In the history of the entire world, really. Cedar Ridge Distillery was started by George Cedar and Peter Ridge. Were either of them Masons? Uh, no. No, I, I currently am the only Mason. This is the original bourbon barrel someone rode over Niagara Falls. The original Cedar Ridge Iowa bourbon whiskey recipe was actually lost in a strange canoe trip. Scuba divers searched for days in the year 1347. Coincidentally, it's also when scuba diving was invented. Same canoe was from the original canoe accident. We dye the water green every other week in remembrance. What does pork task finish mean? No one knows. It means delicious. It's sickening. So George Cedar and Peter Ridge left the city of New York City in 1257. They originally stumbled upon what is now known as Cedar Rapids, and they called it Petersburg. But many of the settlers didn't like the name Petersburg. They preferred Burger Town. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I think. These are stairs. Now I'm up here. The first time that George Clooney had a sip of Cedar Ridge whiskey, <laughs> he bought a dog on the internet. <laughs> I used the latest bottle of Cedar Ridge Distillery Whiskey to clean my sunglasses. Cue really dirty sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Cedar Ridge barrels are made out of Noah's Ark. When George Cedar and Peter Ridge developed the first batch of Cedar Ridge Whiskey, they took it to the Worldwide Whiskey Distilling Championships in Cancun, Mexico, and they came in third place. Total failure. Total failure! <laughs> Everybody, we came in third place! And everybody was like, yeah! <laughs> I've heard that since the cork shortage started, the cork that they use is even more endangered than normal corks. The cork for the Cedar Ridge Iowa Bourbon whiskey bottles were the first pacifiers for children. <laughs> That sounds correct. They used to put their whiskey when it was finished into Gladlock zipped bags. That's how they would sell them. Peter Ridge was the original uh, founder of making glass. So they made glass bottles. Like on Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon? Never saw that. Yeah, neither. Neither did I. What we have here is a still. They call it that because it doesn't move. These are recycled from old bottles of Boone's Farm strawberry wine. If you drink Cedar Ridge whiskey out of a glass like this and you put your ear to it, you can literally hear Katy Perry crying in the bathroom. Which is not true of other whiskeys. No! The still behind me is one of our oldest stills. We call it Steve. Single malt is actually made by mixing bourbon and malt liquor. So you make the bourbon first, take a 40 of Mickey's, pour it in there, move it around. Stick it in the microwave. Stick it in the microwave. Two parts bourbon, and then one Whopper. Okay. Little candies, little malt ball, just one. Here at Cedar Ridge, we have to keep our barrels locked up. There's coyotes out there, and they love whiskey. What does bourbon mean, Michael? Bourbon is originally derived from the term boredom because when you were bored, you would just get really hammered. I mean, really hammered. I mean, can I swear? No, no, no. Okay. No! This bottle right here is exclusive batch number four, which means there were only four batches of it. What's the 1232 mean? Uh, that's what time it was bottled. 1232. 54.8% alcohol by volume. Just enough. Now, Cedar Ridge, Iowa bourbon whiskey is made primarily of two things. Silk? No. Sour mash is composed <coughs> of taking corn and mashing it with a pack of exclusively watermelon Sour Patch Kids. This is the last shipment of the Sour Patch Kids that came in. You can see because it's unlabeled watermelon patch kids. They finally settled on Ned Ryerson's old cough medicine. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But Ned Ryerson, old Ned, wily old Ned Ryerson in town, he didn't like that. So they one day said, hey, let's combine our last names, Cedar and Ridge, Cedar Ridge. This line here pulls Cedar Ridge bourbon directly from the ground. <laughs> you can smell the Sour Patch Kids. Also, while wafting in this very specific jerky fashion, you get notes of bologna, Warm ketchup and Mike Schulte. No, that's just because I'm sitting next to you. Oh, that's. Mmm. <laughs> that's fresh. Hey guys, we're ready to start filming. Thanks for your patience. We appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> we already did it. <laughs>
guys want to play some baseball today? It only yeah. takes a day to learn, right? <laughs> Absolutely, no doubt. You can get us a pro level, like, at, by the end of the afternoon? Maybe. Yeah. Two hours. All right, cool. Let's go for it. I like it. You All right, to show me how this works, though. Can we do oh, that goes on your uh, right hand. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, yeah, just like that. Corner of the cob on three. Oh. One, two, three. Corner of the cob! Tell me what you got. You want some of this laser rocket arm? Schulte. These guys are off. I don't even know what to say. Catch the ball! Beat the other team! Wow. You Beyonce, because it's to the left, to the left, and I'm left handed. What would yours be? It'd probably be Fire Breather by Thrice. But in actuality, it'd probably be like. Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you tonight the worst named band in America, the Pork Tornadoes! Come on, man! When I say drink, you say more. Drink! More! Drink! More! Ladies and gentlemen, let us drink to the long straight peace in Tetris. Uh, come on, it's gotta be family friendly. One more time, let's give it. <laughs> One more time, let's give it out to America's favorite team, the Cedar Rapids Cardinals! <laughs> that was awesome. Looks like you just gave plasma, but you didn't. This will good. This is what you need, okay? Thank you. All right, tell me where it hurts. Everything hurts. Everything? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> 
Oh, you got a nice thumb? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Michael! I think this is how they do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, you want some of that? Want some of that? What a disgusting habit. Nine hundred ninety nine, one thousand. Dab roller. Ah, that's think. what that is. This isn't so hard. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> is this a cone? It's like beard cone. Corey, what is this? Well, boys, let me show you here. You take it off there. You lather your face. No! Don't. I don't want this. Don't. Uh, Uh, how did you get to the sports ball anyway? Well, actually, I was at this uh, Pork Tornadoes concert, and there was these really cute girls, and they kept, they kept saying that they're, like, they're really into baseball, so I just picked one up one day, and here I am. For keyboard play. <laughs> what do you guys think about Cedar Rapids? Fun town. I have a good time. Go to Rock Bar, ride the Mechanical Bull. It's just a shout out. <laughs> 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 yeah, get free oh, my rock bar! Get paid for my rock bar! Go ride our mechanical bull. Mine would be Gloria uh, by Laura Brannigan. Go Blues. Oh, come on. <laughs> Woo! Gloria! <laughs> there it is. Let us take a moment of silence to recognize Corey Talbot, who is not present with us because he is sick at home with a cough. <laughs> There's my out for playing sports ball for the day. What the hell is this and what the hell are you doing on the field? Hey, you Come on! Come on! I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. The hangover. The hangovers. The hangovers. The hangovers. Probably the worst thing about being in our band is the next morning and we have to be productive, do things that are adultish. The night before, we obviously have to act pretty much like children. The next day is not awesome. The worst part about playing in a band is like people just, they bring you shots all the time and you try and spit some out, but you know, at the end of the night, you're probably a little tipsy. Next day, you're feeling like crap. Being in a band, it's hard on the system. The system. That's what I call my body. Like John Mayer would say it. Baddy. What do you think's gonna happen the next day when you get older? It sucks, man. We need to figure something out. The answer is not to grab another liquor. There's gotta be another way. So some company out of somewhere sent us these DHM detox, no days wasted supplements. It's apparently all natural. DHM detox. We're gonna try them out. They're just pills. Let's give them a shot, see if it works, huh? The uh, hipsters have been telling me about these pills. Natural, herbal, let's try them. Take one packet before or during alcohol consumption with water or before bed. What if I never go to bed? Yeah, that's a good question. What if I never go to bed? So DHM, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Stop throwing my own boots at me. Don't tell me what to do, you're not my real dad. My feet are hot. Polish it down with the natter days. Oh yeah. Down the hatch, babies. I feel like I'm doing something bad, but I'm doing something good. Hey, hey, hey. All right, man. DHM detox, man. Why do you talk like that? I don't know. Yeah, why do you talk like that? <laughs> Look, it cured me. So talk normal now. <laughs> <laughs>
actually don't feel bad considering what we just did last night. Let's give it a couple hours, but initial reaction, pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Michael Wright is rain, actually. No Anybody? hangovers? It worked great for the first ten beers. The second hundred, I needed more. But I do feel better than I would have had I not taken it. Good news, everyone. I might look like shit, but thanks to DHM Detox, I feel great. Don't throw that boot at me. Don't throw that boot at me. Okay. Hangovers are terrible. <laughs> okay. you, hit me, you hit me with a cigarette. A lit cigarette. It's while I'm trying to do a video. Is that still on? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Dad, I'm not vaping, it's just Febreze. <laughs> oh, it's oh, he's Hey! <laughs> hey! The thing is, the worst part about playing that band is like, during a show, people bring you up shots over and over. Oh, sweet, dude, sweet. Grow up. Anyway. <laughs> All right, Mace. Should we tell him that story we were going to tell him? There's a story? <laughs> There's a story. Where's our film crew at? Hey, film guys. Hey, Wolfpack. Can you get up here real quick? Uh, so we were, uh, we were contacted last week. Uh, from somebody that knows somebody who's in the 82nd Airborne Division that's currently deployed in Afghanistan. And they said, they said, the boys listen to your YouTube song every single day. And it helps them get through the day. And we were, uh, we were totally kind of taken by that because we're just a bunch of dudes from Iowa. But uh, uh, we want to give a shout out. We're hoping all you guys can scream for them on this camera. We'll send them a little message. Somehow. So hold up, hold up. Hey, hold on a second. I didn't say scream yet, all right? Let's try that one more time. All right, everybody, for the boys in the 82nd Airborne Division, give them a scream. This one's to these guys. Thank you, we appreciate that. You know what song this is. Spend my nights out in the barroom. Liquor was the only love I know. Then you rescued me from slipping to the bottom. Brought me back from being. Too far gone. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm. A glass of brandy I'd stay stoned Stadium. As a kid, I came to this joint.
It's really exciting. It's going to be a perfect night. It's not going to rain at all. But if he's a ghost, then I can be a phantom holding him for ransom. Some boys are trying to. We had a crazy idea to have a cover band try to sell out a stadium in Cedar Rapids. I see nothing better. I keep them forever. This entire thing is internal. I mean, we did, every, you know, hired the production company and got in touch with. Um, the organization like, hey, we kind of want to do a show at your stadium. And they were like, hmm, your band's named the Pork Tenderloins? When I was a young boy playing in a goth metal band called Scalpel in Nevada, frequenting clubs like the Boheme, where there would be a massive 10 to 15 people in attendance, I never dreamed that I would be here selling almost 3 million tickets. Uh, it's incredible. We, I can't believe that we had as many pre-sale tickets as we did. Um, I'm not sure what the walk-up tickets are today, but the weather is beautiful, so it's just going to be an amazing show, and it's, it's, it's a dream to do what we do. So, thanks. <laughs> thought, let's just try something different, let's play at a baseball stadium, right? Who does that? As far as I'm concerned, I'm as famous as I ever need to be. Those of you who don't know me, my name's Corey. I play bass for the Pork Tornadoes. Good to see you again. Hi, everybody. We miss you. I'm so excited about Saturday. I no, finally tonight. get to. What's tonight. That? This is tonight. Tonight? Yeah, we're like tonight. tonight. We're playing tonight. This is the intro to our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm very excited about our show this weekend. and Tonight. We heck... Oh, it's tonight? Yeah. Shit, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm so excited about playing tonight. It's gonna to be awesome. Up until this point, I have yet to see anyone do anything like we're doing. And that's kind of like standard issue pork tornadoes. We always take what we see happening around us and figure out how can we blow it up. I think one of the things, <laughs> this is serious, okay? I think one of the things, I think one of the things I've realized in the four months that we have not played is that I, I was taking being in this band for granted. I mean, it's like we always had a show coming up next weekend, sometimes two shows a weekend, and you always look forward to the next one, but February 15th at the Paramount, we thought we were gonna play forever. But... Camera! Oh, the camera! <laughs> Sorry! I haven't played for like, a hundred months. Hopefully I remember how to play. I've missed my friends, except Michael. Um, so I could not be more excited to, to put this product out, and also could not be more excited to finally hang with my friends and play some music. Oh God, we're playing a show. Uh, I guess we're back. We're back, baby. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is awesome. Have a good show, boys.
Okay. Uh-huh. 
What is happening? Wow. Is this live music? That felt good. I remember shows. Real good. You guys remember shows? I don't even know who I'm talking to because there's no one here, but do you remember shows? Kind of. Kind of. Oh, Jerry, what do you think about uh, life, bud? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, well, ladies and gentlemen, well, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, let me turn the delay off there. Oh, by the way, um, are, you, are we supposed to drink like we have for all of your other shows every time you say ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah, good point. Drink, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a drink of Down truly. Down the hatch. May I suggest truly? Ladies and gentlemen, we're so glad that all of you could be here with us tonight. We know, uh, we know this isn't exactly what we are all hoping for, but we feel like this is maybe the coolest thing that we've ever done. Ever. Every time we put on a show like this, it's about 25 grand. The cheapest seat that you can get in a place like this is about 20 bucks. So to the bottom left hand of your screen is a way to make a ticket contribution. Anything over 20 bucks would be awesome. Anything is appreciated, of course. Anything over 100 bucks is going to get you automatically entered into a raffle to win two free lifetime. We're going to call it we're gonna lifetime. Call it the, pork t the pork golden what? ticket. Yeah, lifetime. lifetime. They didn't clear this with me yet. Lifetime, oh, two, two free tickets, lifetime. Two lifetime pork tornadoes tickets. Now, Mason, wow. we haven't told Am them I that eligible? this is our last show. <laughs> you are not eligible. I'm not eligible. Okay. So, yeah. Well, Any ticket contribution over 100 bucks. Get you two, get you entered into a raffle for two lifetime pork tornadoes <laughs> tickets. Um, we will announce the winners on Monday evening. The uh, the you can enter until Monday at noon Central Standard Time. Yes, absolutely. Um, so you can enter until noon on Monday uh, Central Standard Time. Um, we're either way, we're so happy that you guys are here. We're so glad that we have this way to connect with you and fellowship. We hope you're watching on your. Share it. Enormous, giant <laughs> theater screens. And, and, high, and high quality speakers. And high quality speakers. <laughs> speakers. All right, let's play some more songs, huh? Good speech, though, well, Jerry. Before we play more songs, um, I have to say, uh, I don't know what camera to look at, but uh, happy birthday to my nephew Noah. Hey! It's his birthday. We're playing this whole show for him, so I'm glad everyone else is here, but this is for Noah, you know, the whole thing. Happy birthday, Noah. Happy birthday, Noah. Whoa. Yeah. 
Say holy cow on the internet. <laughs>
And that's how that one goes, right, Mace? It sure is. Okay, so I'll tell a little story. Uh, we learn, we always learn a couple songs over the winter time, and then we 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 start playing them and get better at them, right? So we played them at the Paramount Theater, two new songs for the first time at the Paramount Theater on February 15th, and then we never played a show again. So I think we're still gonna try to play those two songs. <laughs> Why not? Let's just try it, right? They seem new still. A they're little. still they're, well. They're new to us because we've played like the them. The crowd's once. into it. Yeah, the crowd's see, super into it tonight. It. Super into it. Oh I hope that whoever's running the cameras is like. Oh no. I hope the camera that you're stuck on is like the one that's just of all the empty seats. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I'm glad it's that one. Do we need to say that? Oh, we'll say it after this one, okay, John? They're talking to okay. us in our ears. Okay, guys, bye. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. Okay, guys, bye. All right. All right. Let's try it. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Nothing could go wrong. At least it's on that camera. It's a damn good camera to be stuck on. You know what I mean? Dang good camera. Now red my blood and no sleeping You're on your tippy toes creeping around like no one knows think you're so criminal I'm that bad side, make your mama sad side, make your girl from bad side, my seducer dad side, I'm the bad guy, duh. <laughs> I'm wearing her cologne. Wow. That's truly how that one is. Oh, wow. What do you say, John? Can you guys make a bunch of noise at home? Can you clap your hands immediately as loud so. as you can? I hope so. Woo so what do we say for that, John? Ladies and gentlemen. New feed? We're, we 
Ladies and gentlemen, we need to re we need to we need to take a short break, restart the feed. We'll okay. be back in oh, about. Okay. So the oh, the okay. feed the feed will end because we have to change something because this oh, is okay. this is a tough new brave new world that we're in. Okay. Brave new internet world. So so this will end, but then you immediately go back and get the new one in the next couple minutes. Okay. <laughs> God, this is tough. We'll Everybody see you in a second. Go get go get drinks. Be back in three minutes. Don't miss anything. We'll be right back. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> 